Okay, today we're going to talk about 1-2, which is the order of operations. This is actually a pretty easy section to worry about, so we're probably going to just blaze right through it. The biggest thing you need to know about for order of operations is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So you have to do it in the order in which you see. Now, if you have a scientific calculator there's not too much to worry about there because it does everything for you but if you have a regular traditional calculator or a cell phone you got to be mindful of those things another thing i want to talk about is power power is like the number with the little number into it with an exponent and a base and that's all says everything right there in your um packet of your guided notes okay so um go ahead and uh Take a look at this first problem. It says, what's the simplified form of the expression 10 to the 7th and then 0.2 to the 5th power? Well, for this, this is really simple. Um, you could use your uh, calculator for this, and that's all you really need. 10 to the 7th is the same as 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. But all you really have to do is just um, use a calculator. So this is real easy if you have a, 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 a calculator or a phone. So all I really have to do is just uh, hit in um, 10. So we wanted to do 10 to the uh, seventh power. So to do this, a couple buttons you could use. My calculator is just 10 to the seventh power. I just do that and I hit enter. And then it comes out to be 10 million. Um, you might have a button on it. It's like a Y to the X or an X to the Y. The other one I have is uh, parentheses 0.2 and then I close it. And then I can actually hit to, uh, close it to the fifth power and I get the number. Whoop, excuse me. That's not right. I'll try it again. So I'm going to go point two to the fifth power and I hit enter and I get 3.2 e to the negative four but what that means is that's basically point zero 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 three two your calculator will probably do that and it's probably because my mode is in a different mode no it's in the normal mode so don't know why I did that but that's just what happens if it comes up with that it just means it's a really tiny number no big deal so you have a got it that you have to worry about why don't you take a moment and you figure out how to use your calculator and um, do the got it calculate three to the fourth all right same thing goes here um, what's the simplified form of each expression so this you please excuse my dear aunt Sally so what you want to do first is you want to come in here and you want to do the 6 minus 2 then to the third divided by 2 so 6 minus 2 is 4 so then this is 4 to the third power divided by 2 I can plug this in my calculator exactly like I see it uh, 4 times 4 times 4 is what that is so that's 64 divided by 2 so half of 64 is 32 but again you could just use your calculator for that for this one for B 2 to the fourth minus 1 all over 5 I gotta figure out please excuse my dear aunt Sally so I'm gonna do 2 to the fourth then I'm gonna take it away from 1 and then I'm gonna do 5 so I'm gonna grab my calculator and I'll show you how you can do this on the calculator I can just literally go parentheses 2 to the fourth power then I do the big minus 1 close that parentheses and you divide it by five and hit enter and I get three so that answer is three pretty simple right not a big deal so why don't you see if you can do it on the guy real quick and make sure if you have to put in parentheses but remember please excuse my dear aunt Sally so pause the video see if you can do the got it and I'll see you back in about 30 seconds all right now let's do something a little different when it talks about evaluating algebraic expressions. So in this one it says what is the value what is the value of the expression for x equals 5 and y equals 2? Here they're telling you what x is. x is 5 and y is 2. So anywhere you see the letter x put in a 5 and anywhere you see the letter 2 put or letter y put in the letter the number 2. So x squared so that's going to be 5 and it's going to be squared plus 5 minus 12 divided by 2 to the second power. So now please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So I got 25 plus 5 minus 12 divided by 4 because 2 squared. Now how you do this is you have to do, what, what, what do you think we do next? 
Well, we're going to want to do the division, 12 divided by uh, 4. So 25 plus 5 minus 3. So now it goes 25 plus 5, which is 30. Take away 3, you get 27. Of course, you could just do it all in one clean shot with the um, calculator. This one, x times y squared divided by xy. So this is 5 times 2 squared divided by 5 times 2. So 5 times 2 is 10, so it's 10 squared divided by 10. So 10 squared is 100, and you divide that by 10, so I get 10. Easy enough. You have a got it. Why don't you pause the video and do the got it, and I'll see you back here in about a minute. Alright, so here's a real world uh, problem. It says banking. What is an expression for the spending money you have left after depositing two-fifths of your wages and savings? Evaluate the expression for weekly wages of 40, 50, 75, and 100. So what's the expression for spending two-fifths, for, for spending money you have left after depositing two-fifths of your wages and savings? So think about that for a second. How would we set that up? Now what you know is that if you have your wages, W, right? That's your W. And you have how much your wages minus two fifths of your wages and savings. So that's the expression that you would use would be W minus two fifths W. And then you find the expression for 40. So each time you're going to go, okay, so here's 40 minus two fifths of 40. So how I do this real quick is I just say, okay, 5 goes into 40, and that's once, and that's 8. So this is 40 take away 16. And 40 take away 16, I believe, is uh, 24, right? Because I don't have my calculator handy. Then I do it for 50. So 50 minus 2 fifths of 50. That one's easy, too, because 5 goes away. That's a 10. So it's 50 minus 20. So there's 30, so it's 30 bucks. And then 75, so you use 75 minus 2 fifths of 75. And what's nice about this is that goes in one time. How many times does 5 go into 75? So that's 1, so 15, so 75 take away 30. And 75 minus 30 is 45. Real easy enough. Why don't you give it a shot and... Um, see if you can do the got it and remember go back and check your success see if you know what these are if you don't know what these words are put them in your words to know and come back and do it and then mark yourself see I know what a power is I know what an exponent is I don't know what a base is and I'm not too sure about those two so I'm going to look them up put them in my words to know and then come back and grade myself on how to use um order of operations and evaluating expressions. So I hope this video was helpful. I look forward to seeing you in class tomorrow and may the force be with you.